Oh, buddy. Uh oh. <laughs> Giant. We are currently at Lake Cumberland. Uh, we have two GV teams down here. Drove through the night and got here at like four in the morning. So we kind of just spent the night in the parking lot here. We were waiting for it to get light outside. I think it's what, probably like seven o'clock now, six o'clock, I don't, I don't even know. I feel like I'm dead on the inside, but we're ready to go catch some bass. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Let's get some nice beautiful bluff walls. So hopefully we get on them. And uh, we only got one day of practice too. So stay tuned, let's go catch some fish. Wait, what'd you just do? Coasters are super cheap. I'm just gonna buy a couple other pair tomorrow night. How did you do that? Ah, uh, they fell off my head onto the concrete, cement. <laughs> Good as new. Did <laughs> you fix them? Day one practice starts now. <laughs> Little guy. Little guy. A little old small one. Dude, look how fat she is. <laughs> She's a chunker. Smoke the old Rapala shad wrap there. First fish for uh, Lucas and I. I think he got ticked probably by a fish about that size too on the swim bait. So we've had two bites. Got one fish on the boat. And definitely not a keeper because smallmouth in this body of water have to be 18 inches long. And that one's probably not even 12. <laughs> Alrighty, so first fish, fishing this little cut here, and uh, hopefully we find an 18 inch small malt because that's not going to do anything. Oh. No. Fish? Yeah. <laughs> Bottom, I guess. <laughs> Is it a spot or a large mouth? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, we'll you, gotta, you gotta get a picture of that one. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about that? That's not the bottom, huh? That's big. That's a big one. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a spot or a largey. I think so too. <laughs> it's insane. I caught a fish. I caught a Cumberland bass. <laughs> for me. Everything I thought it would be. <laughs> oh, got one. Good one. Yeah, that's a big one. Like a good one, I guess. I don't know about big. Like maybe a keeper. If it's not a small one, I don't think it's 18 inch long. Maybe. Yeah, that's a good fish. Throw that little point. Oh, yep, that's a good small. <laughs> the swim bait. That's a big smallie. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be real close. Not, gonna be real yeah, that'll be like, oh, so we gotta catch one's bigger than this. <laughs> Cause that sucks. <laughs> Alrighty, come here. Come here, mama. Come here, mama. Okay, well, Lucas and I have been sitting here complaining because we've been catching nothing, and that actually might not be 18, I don't know. <laughs> It'll be close. That's bad, dude. She's that's a good one. Small. small mouth in this lake had to be 18. Uh, yeah, never mind. That's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's eight, 18 all day. 18 and a half, 18 and three quarter incher. Alrighty, so let's get this fish back in the water. But we need five like that on tournament day. And I'll explain everything here in a second too about what's going on, aka how we're going to be running 50 miles to come over to this spot probably. Well, we're at least 50 miles. Yeah. Okay, so first keeper fish for Lucas and I. Uh, so far, I caught a little baby smallmouth. Lucas caught a couple of little dink uh, spotted bass. We've been seeing a lot of spotted bass, but we have not caught any keepers until just now. And that fish might have been a spawner. We cast it up on this little kind of tapering point. It was pretty shallow right here compared to all these different bluff walls we've been fishing. And I caught that fish on a kitek. So I literally lifted up and it was just on there. But the deal here at Cumberland is we're fishing this little one day tournament and they're launching us on the far east side of the lake. So we're gonna be running like 50 miles to get anywhere near this area whatsoever. 50, 55 miles, Lucas says. So I don't know if we're gonna, we gotta catch some more smallmouth like that, make sure that we could, you know, figure out some sort of pattern down here and make sure it's worth it. But we're gonna be making a very long run tournament day if we keep catching smallmouth like that, that down here. So. Stay tuned, hopefully we figure this out. Hopefully we can find some more little like shallow tapering points because I haven't really seen a lot to be honest. Most of these are really steep bluff walls. But stay tuned and let's go catch some more fish. <laughs> 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 
Jesus. Oh, buddy. Uh oh. <laughs> giant. Yep. That's a, yep, it's a giant smallmouth. It's literally a giant smallmouth. This one's giant. Yeah, yeah, that's a fat one. Mm, no. Yeah. This one's fat as shit, though. Down her throat. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's 18. <laughs> okay, well that one's probably bigger than the last one, guys. That's like a three and three quarter, maybe. She's so fat. But, gotta get some more like that. Tournament day, we should have left the spot. We honestly just did like one of the dumbest things because I caught that other one there. And then I caught that one there. We definitely should have left. Usually we don't do that, but I don't even know. I don't even know what we were thinking. We just fish. Just kept fishing. So we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go try to find more stuff, I guess, like this. But like that looked like everything that we've been fishing so far. Like this over there was different. This was pretty much like what, we, what we've been fishing. So I don't know if the sun's affecting them or if this is just a really juicy pocket or what's going on, but we're gonna go try to find some more spots. Yep, yep. Not, not a big one, not a keeper. Lots of fun though, that thing just got about seven feet in the air. <laughs> Woo! So that is the second non-keeper smallmouth we've caught. I caught like a little baby 10 incher. This one's probably like 12 to 14 inches. And then two giants. This dude double hooked himself. So a little smaller right there. Yeah, probably like a 12 incher, but every single fish we've caught so far has been super fat too. So I don't know if they're all spawning or if they're all just eating a ton of shad or what's going on, but they are up in these little bushes on the little shallower banks too. We're not catching them on those steep bluff walls. We're fishing those you know, kind of tapering points and stuff. Big one. <laughs> Got him! Got him! That's not a keeper. I know. Oh yeah, yeah. So there's another one right there. That's like a 14, 15 incher that just wouldn't keep it all. There's the old, there's the other GV boat out there. You guys catching them? This is not 18 inches. This, there's lots of fun though. There we go. That's not fun. Oh, good one. What a great animal. Oh, it's like a large mouth. Yeah, it's, it's, good, it's go. a good large mouth. So it'd be a keeper. Like yep. Be, probably. Yeah, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. Okay, so we lied. There are large mouth. There are large mouth back in here. That's a good chunk, yeah. And check that out right there. That's it. Alrighty, so there's our second large mouth and our third keeper of the day. So if this was tournament day, we have three fish and we'd be looking pretty good. We need two big small mouth to, to add to it. If you really wanted to make a run at something, but that's a decent little large mouth right there. Good one. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> that's a good largey. Uh, is it a largey? Yeah. There you go. That's a chunker. <laughs> Got him. On the old jerk plug. Well, there's keeper number four for the day. Another two pounder, two something pounder. Good one. Spotted bass. This is a weird bank too, because we've caught like three like okay spotted bass now. Yeah. Like nowhere else. Like that one might even be a keeper. That one's a chunk. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's a fat little dude. That's fat as hell. Yeah, I changed up to the real little thing, Woo! That's a chub, dude. Itty bitty little guy. Here we bump that one. I'm curious. See that? See that's 15. That's fat. That's a chub. That's a two pounder. Almost 16. That's a chunky little dude. That's a chunky spot. Okay. Bye, buddy. See you later. You fat little turd nugget. That one? Oh, there you go. There you go, buddy. Oh, is that a large mouth, too? Yeah. That's a good large mouth. What the heck? Yeah, right oh! Right there. 
already showed that too. Dude, yeah. Dude, what the heck? You mean to help? You gonna, what are you gonna do? Okay, all right, just do that, all right. All right, all right, there you go, okay. That's a three plus pounder all day. Alrighty, so Lucas just caught probably one of our biggest fish of the day. Here's a three plus pounder. There's no way they'll be able to hear anything actually. So we had a pretty good day of practice in Cumberland, which is kind of bad because now that means we have to run 55 miles one way and then 55 miles back for this tournament, which means we also have to fill up on gas, which takes up time, and it's also just a big pain in the butt. But we didn't practice up at the launch. We only had one day to practice, and we caught them pretty good down there. So puts us in a weird spot. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I hope you guys tune in tomorrow for the actual tournament when we make that freaking crazy run and try to catch those big smallmouth down there. Uh, if you guys have not heard, I'm posting a video every day on this channel. Channel. So hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss any of these episodes and um, that's pretty much it. I will catch you guys tomorrow